Well, how good is this, folks? We have made it to Lake's entrance. It is the 101st year of one of the world's oldest motorsport events. It is the East Gippsland Alpine Rally. Would you believe it's the Southern Hemisphere's oldest continuing motorsport event? It's the second oldest rally in the world. And we're here this week with 105 of the finest classic cars you'll find anywhere in Australia. Look at the variety we've got. We've got some wonderful Datsuns. We've got some wonderful Nissans. There are just some incredible motors on display here. What are they facing this weekend? Well, a proper challenge, a real proper challenge. Four days of competitive action. 420 kilometers, 26 stages. Would you believe 26 single pass stages? It's blind rally. Now, for those of you in Europe, you might not quite understand what blind rallying is all about. So I'll tell you what, let's listen to our last winner of the Alpine Rally, Nathan Quinn, who'll tell us all about it. Someone asked me why do you, I like blind rallying so much, and I said it's a bit like meeting a girl at a pub and you see her fully clothed, and you just don't know what sort of surprise you're going to get. When you pace note, all the surprises are gone, you know. So, uh, But in terms of driving it, um, it's when I drove the test day, you jumped in the Mazda, and it was just the dream. It, 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 it's sort of like, you know when you drive to work every day up and down the highway, and then you go, one day you're on the weekend, you drive a different way, and you just sit there and you take a bit of time, you take the sights in. That's what blind rallying's like. But the approach to a corner is, you jump on the brake, you take a guess, you come out of it, and you're like, damn, I wish I had it went harder, or holy dooly, we need to back it off a bit. And it's that thrill through the whole stage, 406, 420 odd kilometers of stages, Oh, I get a real buzz out of it. Remember back three years to when Nathan won this event. It was quite the most extraordinary weekend. We lost the first day of rallying because of bushfires, and we lost the last day because of floods. Now, what's the weather going to do this weekend? That is the question on everyone's lips. We waited three years for this, and uh, having to postpone it last year was um, a really difficult decision made by not only me but obviously with all the runners but uh, this year we're here and hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> <laughs> well isn't it good to see that the weather is set fair for the weekend. I can't wait to see a little bit of that Australian sunshine. Now as you look around there are some wonderful old cars here. There are some incredibly experienced drivers and co-drivers. We've got a number of former winners of the event in the field as well and perhaps one of our most experienced drivers out in the field this weekend is former Australian rally champion David Officer. Oh, it's fantastic. It's the rally in Australia that everyone wants to win, I think, and uh, there's some pretty hot competition here. <laughs> we'll be down the back. <laughs> well, okay, tell me about the car. It's a beautiful looking little car. Tell me about the car you're driving this week. Well, when the Alpine was resurrected in 2001, we heard about it and thought, yes, we've got to do this. So we found a Galant for $50, <laughs> and it's uh, cost us a fair bit more since then. Yeah, but maybe the best investment ever. <laughs> yes, yeah, sort of. <laughs> We're still having great fun with it, and um, yeah, are we? Yeah, it's a good, uh, good little car to drive. It handles well, and it hasn't got much power, but it's fun to drive. And, uh, <laughs> and anyway, we're going further backwards in the field every year as I get older. So. <laughs> well, the 101st year of the Alpine Rally gets underway this afternoon. We have three challenging stages to kick things off. Who won the event 101 years ago, you might well ask? Well, it was A.V. Archie Turner in an Atala. Who's going to win this year? Sunday afternoon is when we'll find out. 26 stages, 420 kilometres lie ahead. It is going to be a cracking event to celebrate the 101st year of the Alpine Rally of East Gippsland.